Hello students. Welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through rational numbers. In the previous session, we had seen both addition and multiplication are associative for whole numbers. Today, we are going to check the associative property of integers. We will start with addition. Take three integers, minus two, three, and minus five. Let's add them. When adding these integers, we can group them into either minus two plus, three plus minus five, equals minus two, plus minus two, equals minus four. Or minus two, plus three, plus minus five, equals one plus minus five, equals minus four. That is, minus 2 plus 3 plus minus 5 equals minus 2 plus 3 plus minus 5. We can see that grouping the numbers either way does not affect the result. In general, we can say that for any three integers a, b, and c, a plus b plus c equals a plus b plus c. Therefore, addition is associative for integers. Now, let's look at subtraction of integers. We will continue with the same three integers, minus two, three, and minus five. Let's group the operation in two different ways as follows and see what we get. First, minus two, minus, three minus, minus five, equals minus 2, minus 8, equals minus 10. And second, minus 2 minus 3, minus, minus 5, equals minus 5 plus 5, equals 0. Are they equal? No, they are not equal. Therefore, subtraction is not associative for integers. Let's examine multiplication of integers next. Using the same three integers, minus two, three, and minus five. While multiplying these numbers, we can again group them into either. Minus two multiplied by three multiplied by minus five equals minus two multiplied by minus 15 equals 30, or Minus 2 multiplied by 3, multiplied by minus 5, equals minus 6, multiplied by minus 5, equals 30. They are equal. That is, minus 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by minus 5, equals minus 2 multiplied by 3, multiplied by minus 5. As we have seen in the case of addition, regardless of the grouping of the numbers. In general, we can say that for any three integers a, b, and c a multiplied by b multiplied by c equals a multiplied by b multiplied by c. Therefore, multiplication is associative for integers. Finally, let's examine division of integers, again using the same three integers, minus 2, 3, and minus 5. While dividing these numbers, we can again group them in two different ways as follows. First, minus 2 divided by 3 divided by minus 5 equals minus 2 divided by 3 by minus 5 equals minus 2 multiplied by minus 5 by 3 equals 10 by 3. And second, minus 2 divided by 3 divided by minus 5 equals minus 2 by 3 divided by minus 5 equals minus 2 by 3 multiplied by minus 1 by 5 equals 2 by 15. 
Hence, when dividing these numbers by grouping them in two different ways, we can easily say that the results are not equal. That is, the division is not associative for integers. Let's recall what we discussed today for any three integers a, b, and c. a plus b plus c equals a plus b plus c. And a multiplied by b multiplied by c equals a multiplied by b multiplied by c. While a minus b minus c is not equal to a minus b minus c. And a divided by b divided by c is not equal to a divided by b divided by c. Hence, we can say that four integers, addition and multiplication, are associative. While subtraction and division are not associative. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Check the associative property for addition for the numbers. A equals minus 32, B equals 212, and C equals minus 56. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.